Hey guys, welcome back to the Parkiverse. This week, I thought I'd share with you guys how you can create these awesome 3D parallax wallpapers on your Android phones. So as you tilt them, the wallpapers move as well, giving you this nice 3D layered look. But before we jump right into it, make sure to like and subscribe to get more Android tips, tricks and customization videos. So for this tutorial, make sure you head to the Play Store and grab yourselves the app 3D Wallpaper Parallax. And to create your own layers, make sure you grab one of my favorite apps, Pixart. Now before we make our own custom 3D wallpaper, let's have a look around the Parallax app and let's see what it has to offer. So when you load up the app, you'll first be presented with this screen where you can select from the most popular 3D wallpapers created by other users. So if you want to quickly make your home screen pop, make sure to check some of these out. There's a whole range of wallpapers available and each one brings its own twist. As well as the 3D layered backdrops, this app also houses what it calls 4D wallpapers indicated by the 4D tag. These are created using masking layers to manipulate the individual images. So if you guys want to see a tutorial on how to use this feature to create your own 4D wallpapers, let me know in the comment section below and I'll make a follow up video for you guys. Now let's build our own 3D layered wallpaper. For this, let's head to the creation section. Here you'll be able to assemble your own custom 3D wallpaper layer by layer using any images you want and each one will be tied directly to your phone's gyroscope sensors. Additionally, the app comes with its own preset layers which you can use in your creations. So make sure you have a look around and give some of them a try. With the free version, you're limited to just 4 3D layers. However, if you do go pro, you'll be able to unlock further features including the 4D layers. And as a quick note, keep in mind, the first layer you load in will always be the background and as such, it will always stretch across the screen. Now, let's take things even further by creating our own 3D parallax wallpapers using our own images. For this example, I'm going to grab a user created photo from the website Unsplash. But the process we're going to use here to create the layers can be used on any image. Now using the second app, Pixart, we're going to create the individual layers which we're then going to load back into parallax. So let's start by first cutting out our subject. For this, you could use Pixart's cutout feature which allows you to quickly cut out any object but can be a bit inaccurate with edges. Or my personal go-to method, using the draw feature to manually erase all of the backdrop. Just make sure to use different size erasers to get real up close and personal with the edges. This method does take some time so just try and be a bit patient. Once done, make sure to save it and let's move on to building our background layer. For this, within Pixart, we're going to use the cloning tool. This is going to allow us to extend the background while at the same time removing the subject from the image. And as a bonus tip, you might want to try changing the cloning source location to help blend it all together. Now that we're finished creating our layers, let's head back to Parallax and load them in to see how it all looks. And there we have it, our very own custom made 3D Parallax wallpaper ready to be used on our home screens. If you like this video and want to see more just like this, make sure you like and subscribe to help support the channel. And make sure you check out my other Android customization videos. See you next time on Into the Parkiverse.